Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create some really cool 3D text in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, granted, this is not going to be like a super advanced um, 3D text effect. This is just going to be some very basic um, 3D text because it is completely free. This is not a plugin. This is just completely built into Final Cut. So you're just limited with what Final Cut um, has to offer when it comes to um, 3D text. So I'm going to head over to the example right here and what you want to do is you want to head over here to the title icon right here as you can see here we go so you have 3d um, cinematic text right here so you have a whole bunch of different presets um, right here here's a whole bunch of different presets um, if you want to go for kind of you know go for the free version and you don't want to go ahead and pay for like an actual like paid version there's some really cool presets um, right there but the one I want to go over is just the 3d right here so as you can see right here here are all of your different 3d so you have the basic right here you have the custom 3d right here you have um, the fade 3d right here and then you have like the lower thirds you have the rotating one right here then you have um, the scale one right here where it kind of pops in you have the 3d text spacing right here and then you have this kind of like tumble um, 3d so those are the, all the different options that come you know free in final cut so i'm going to go ahead and head over here and just apply this onto the clip right here and i want to go over a couple of different you know custom ways to customize it and make um you know the 3d text uh look a lot nicer okay so now that you have the 3d text imported as you can see right here that's what it looks like just normally on the screen doesn't look as cool as the one in the um, intro so what you want to do is now you can adjust the animation so as you can see right here here are a whole bunch of different animations now a couple one i want to go in uh, go over is the building if i uncheck the building as you can see right there uh, it doesn't build in it just kind of it stays there and then it, then it will start um, rotating so basically doesn't kind of like build in uh, right there so it basically doesn't start right here or, or start in like a rotating action now as you can see right here you have a whole bunch of different ways to do this now, as you can see you have animation style you can head over to roll right here and this is the animation style of roll right here as you can see there we go that's the um roll animation and then you have the cascade um, animation right here as you can see there we go right there that's what it looks like um, right here you could have this really cool cascade um, animation so as you can see there we go now you have this really cool kind of like you know rotating um, animation so as you go right here I can head back over to swivel right here and then you just have you know the normal you know um, default animation as you can see right here if you watch closely it kind of starts to fade in right there now you can go ahead so I go ahead and play it right here and then as you can see as you can see it starts to it only holds for a little bit so if I play it right here as you can see right here after like a, a second or so it starts to uh, fade out so you can go ahead and just go like this you can go ahead and take the fade out duration that way it basically lasts for longer as you can see right there it lasts for a lot longer if you take away this uh, the fade out and the spread out um, effect basically just lasts the, like it holds on the screen for a lot longer and um, that of course you know is all to you and whether or not you want to do that that's pretty much it so you can just go ahead and mess with a whole bunch of different animation controls um, right here so let's say you want to edit the text so I'm gonna head over here and you want to head over to this icon right here and let's just type in um, right here uh, just type in 3d um, text right here just as an example so you can go ahead and change it right here now I can go ahead and head over um, to the font that I want I like Futura I'll go ahead head over to bold right here and then you can you know change the size a little bit so this way you just added the font you can change um, the actual text the size you can mess with a whole bunch of different things here uh, all depends on um, your um, clip now let's scroll all the way down until you find um, as you see right here the 3d text right here so as you can see right here now you can start adjusting depth now I'll go ahead and rotate a little bit right here so you can kind of see what's happening as you can see right here you can basically animate the depth so how you know, just basically animate the depth um, right here so let's just type in 50 right here as you can see there's a lot more depth um, to the 3d text you can mess with a whole bunch of different things you can mess with the weight right here I don't really like messing with that you could try you know 
um, messing with the different um, front edges so you can just kind of mess with the edges as you can see there's a whole bunch of different things um, you can do you can do right here you can basically just adjust the 3d text adjust the depth adjust the weight um, and so on and so forth now I want to go to the next one which is the lighting right here so you can see you have a whole bunch of different lighting options right here you have right here you have an above lighting right here so you can basically just keep messing a below lighting right there so you can just keep messing with it um, until you get the look that you want right there next thing I want to go over is the environment so as you can see right here you have a whole bunch of different um, environments uh, the the, uh, the environment right here so you can basically just keep you know messing with the environment um, until you basically have the look that you want so you see there's a whole bunch of different options um, with the environment right here you can obviously mess with the material so you could go through and try to mess with the material until you get a look that you want um, right here you can also mess with the substance right here so if I head over here and let's say I want to change the substance um, to metal right there I can head over here to type right here and let's say I want to change it to brass as you can see there we go of course the lighting is a little bit different and then you can of course go through um, and mess with the different lighting um, right here but that's what it looks like right here as you can see it's a whole bunch of different lighting but there you go that's what the text effect text effect looks like right there you can keep messing with it until you get um, look that you want right there and that's pretty much it all you want to do is you just want to apply um, the 3d text you can of course mess with a whole bunch of different animations then you can go ahead and actually like individually um, edit the text right here until you get the look that you want and then you want to scroll all the way down you can go ahead and change the 3d text you can um, adjust the depth the weight um, everything like that you can go ahead and adjust the lighting you can go ahead and also um, adjust the environment you can adjust the material right here you can adjust um, the substance right here and you can of course add a drop shadow or a glow if you want to but that's pretty much it adjust the substance adjust the material environment lighting 3d text you can go and just mess with it um, until you get the look that you want um, for your video everything is going to be different as far as I know unless you unless you know another way I actually don't know how to do any more like animation or rotation as you can see right here you have a whole bunch of you know rotations um, right here but the problem is there's absolutely no keyframe button to keyframe um, the animation so if you actually have any idea of how to you know you're more experienced um, than I am if you have any any ideas when it comes to animating this rotation I would love to hear in the comments down below I tried a whole bunch of different methods and none of them work so if you're more advanced than me and you've been doing this or you maybe you know of another way to do this without a doubt help other people out you know, in the comments down below I couldn't think of another way all I just had to do is use the animation of the 3d text obviously if you want you know even more manual control of a 3d text effect then obviously probably buy um, a 3d text plugin but I want to do this video completely free basically everything built into Final Cut Pro 10 just to kind of create some basic um, 3d text effect so anyways that's basically it. that's how you create a really cool 3d text effect um, in Final Cut Pro 10 anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that uh, subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 220 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.